Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Um, this is just a little update on this um, little seed node, um, Mestastic node. It's the Seed uh, Studio SX1262 uh, uh, node, uh, the $10 uh, node, and I'll put a link on the video here um, uh, on, on the screen somewhere to the original video. But um, in the, uh, the last video, I had uh, built a little node, and you know, it's, it's tiny. Just, just look at that. It's crazy. And it comes with a, a, a Bluetooth and a, and a LoRa antenna. Um, I uh, put it into this case, which I created. Um, and I, uh, you know, it, it fits inside there uh, with a little battery. And in this case, it's a 380 milliamp hour battery that I added. Um, and a physical switch. And that all goes inside here. But I did leave space in here for a, uh, a buzzer or a, uh, um, a something that will alert you if a new message arrives. So that can be done with an LED. And um, so what I've done is I've soldered onto this board a, a DC um, buzzer. Um, and um, basically, um, you know, it goes from ground, which is the second pin from the bottom, to uh, the second one from the top, which is GPIO6. So uh, how that basically works then is, and you've just connected it up like that. So I'm going to uh, just power this on quickly here. Um, I'll power it on outside of a case. I'll turn that on. And... Uh, Let's see if it wants to boot up, and we can see it's booting up. The node is booting, and um, it's already been found. So let me uh, use the app. I'm just going to use the app here quickly, and uh, I connect to it. I go to um, radio configuration, and um, oops, I go to uh, external notification. You'll see that I have turned on external notification. I've turned on alert buzzer. I've turned on bell buzzer. And I've added the GPIO pin to uh, pin number six, uh, GPIO six over there. And uh, that's it. So the net result is if I use uh, another node, oh, uh, I actually forgot. Uh, uh, um, in here, I also changed um, the duration. So if I look at external configuration and um, I set the uh, output duration 500 milliseconds and the nag timeout 10 seconds. Now you can change these values. All it says is after 10 seconds it, it will stop beeping by itself. Because um, it does have a button but I haven't exposed the button through the case yet. So um, the net result of that is if I were to send a message. Let's. Uh, I'm just going to use one of my other nodes, and I'm going to uh, send a message to it. Um, I am going to just say DM it, and I'm going to say test. Oops, test, and I will send that. You will hear that it beeps, and it will beep now for ten seconds. And then it stops. So when it's inside the case, you know, this uh, goes into the case. This uh, gets uh, uh, put, all of this goes inside there. And you end up with a node, you know, this size. Um, and uh, there you can see a little uh, uh, um, uh, where, where the sound would come out. If you do receive a message, you will hear the, the beeper or the, the buzzer go off for 10 seconds. And again, that's adjustable. And you can, um, um, you know, you, you know that something's happened. So just a little update video on that. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, thank you and uh, have fun.